Hey everybody, Ardermus here, and just thought I'd give you a quick update to let you know what I'm working on here. Presently, I am working on Rise Edit, which is sort of an upgraded version of the old Tiny Edit uh, map editor system that um, I was creating before. This one's being done over the boilerplate update, uh, Project Rise, that's why it's called Rise Edit. So I just kind of wanted to let you see what I was doing differently here and uh, show you some of the improvements and updates and goodies that I've done. Let me see if I can open up this other project, the old one. Uh, tiny edit. <clears throat> Not sure which version this was. <laughs> so kind of, you'll see what I'm doing differently here. So here's the old one. Get your map editor screen over here, get your tile pages over here. Um, you know, you can import, create new workspaces, import image assets and whatnot, and that'll work pretty cool. Uh, I had a trigger builder, I had not quite this far in the new one yet. Uh, it's a ton of work, you know, there's a lot of old sloppy code in the other ones. I've learned a lot since I uh, built this one too, so lots to change as I go along. And <clears throat> things I'm trying to improve, like adding uh, map layers and uh, other stuff like that. So, I'll show you where I'm at on this guy here. And for those of you that don't know, the Project Rise boilerplate is available from my website. Um, you can just download that right off the front page of Um Anyway, so as you can see, have the Project Rise boilerplate uh, here. Got have the main library has all the goodies in it, um, and here's the base project. So have a few forms built so far and what this is is a hybrid system of Windows Forms and XNA so uh, I'm trying to make them work together here and if I look at my main form whoops didn't mean to undock that um, wait, what you can see here is uh, what <clears throat> the background is the XNA surface, uh, which is essentially a picture box that we're drawing uh, our XNA screen to. And within that box, I have um, various uh, XNA spaces, which I call panels, uh, similar to the screens that we've used in the past. Um, they're actually running on the base panel, which is a screen. So. Um, Anyway, let me see if I can fire this up here for you. So here's where I'm at so far. I haven't cleared the default map yet. Um, what I have is I can, I'm trying to create a hierarchy here uh, called workspaces. And workspaces should contain maps, which should contain assets and things like that. Image assets, sounds, and all those things. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so... have to hold this uh, I'm using a webcam mic here because my good microphone died that's why this one probably sounds bad uh, so I can say create a workspace and this map will not be saved so here's the new workspace I created uh, is populated into this tree view and then from here I can create new maps test Let's say I want to make a 12 by 12 map uh, base tile size. This is something that's new in Rise Edit. Uh, in Tiny Edit, you could not specify a base tile size, which means you're, you know, unless you want to go in and change the code, you're kind of locked into this uh, uh, 32 by 32 tile output. So now we can actually change that. I'm going to go ahead and create a, a uh, standard 32 by 32 um, and now if I click on that it automatically loads it into my panel over here and this is another new thing um, in the old one you could not resize the screen this one will only draw to the screen and my panels 
which you can see are active when I mouse over them, um, will scale dynamically with the screen. So I can make that as big as I want and it gives me a lot more surface to work on. I don't have map scrolling yet enabled. Um, so I can't, you know, if I make a really big map like 100 by 100, I can't uh, scroll to the boundaries of that. That's to come. So uh, these these are just sample um, nodes that I added. There aren't actually any images in this map yet. I'm just using a base map set here of two tiles. So I have trees and water, and I can draw with those and create maps. So let's say I want to create a separate map or a second map in my setup here. I'm going to call this one Tiny. Okay. And what I'm going to do is make it a 30 by 30 map with a 16 tile, 16 by 16 uh, tile size output. So when I create this, you notice it adds it to my uh, tree over here. Uh, find my tiny map. And now if you look at these, they're really small. Uh-oh. Making Trogdor here. Got to be careful. <laughs> Um, so I can toggle back and forth between those maps and it stores them to the workspace. Uh, presently I don't have the ability to save your workspace, so any maps that you create in this uh, at the moment will disappear when you close it or create a new workspace. So um, That is to come. I still have to create all the map handlers and workspace handlers for file saving. Um, let's try another one just for fun. I right click on my uh, workspace here. Let's see, big. I'm just going to make that a 10 by 10 map. Make these 64 by 64 tiles. Go to my big map. Now look how huge those are. Yeah. So, you can mingle them, mix them up all you want. Pretty cool stuff. So I made some little graphics for the workspace uh, icons and uh, the different nodes. There's also a sound graphic, but I don't, I didn't add any of those yet. So uh, a lot of work to be done still. It's very time consuming, and of course I have very little time. So um, this is kind of where I'm at right now. I haven't added any other goodies yet. I, what I want to do with this top panel is make this, uh, you know, where I used to have tile pages here, I want to be able to divide up uh, tile sets and put those tiles in a toolbar here that you can just select the tiles from and it'll scroll over as you mouse toward the edges. Uh, something like that, or maybe it would expand down, or I haven't really decided how I want to make that work just yet. Um, lots to do. But I have some music now. Oh, I forgot. I have the menu, too. I don't know if that still works. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, this, I never actually removed this from, um, uh, from the Rise engine when I brought it in. crazy. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Uh, another thing, I, you know, I added map details down here, so when you click on your map, you can see all the stats and stuff. I want to add more to that. I uh, still need to add more goodies to the map class itself, but you can kind of see my layout here, my graphics folders, my content. Um, I have a tile class. It's pretty small haven't added everything I want to that yet. It's very simple. And I do want to add containers and stuff so I can add other objects to tiles and haven't decided how I want to handle layering yet. Um, map. The map class. There's a lot going on here. Added a third coordinate on that uh, for layering, which I'll probably use for that. And 
But I could I could actually do the layering per tile if I wanted to and just have that as a property of the tile. So each you know, each coordinate it would just cycle through it. Uh, whoops, my uh, time ran out on that. I can only record for 10 minutes at a time here. Um, what was I saying um, about, uh, you know, maybe adding the layers per tile and then giving the tile class um, a layer property so each tile would only loop through as many layers as it had uh, in there and it might actually speed up performance so you're not cycling through things that aren't actually you know, existent and you don't have to have an entire copy of uh, each map layer of the XY coordinates, if that makes sense. So, uh, Editor main, that's the, the main um, X and A window being drawn over the surface of the, um, the form. So this actually kind of stretches back behind here. It draws all the way from over here and across. But it's being, you know, all the all the panels draw to specific places on that screen. So it kind of allows me to manage my resolution and whatnot and keep it in tune with the form itself. Makes things a little easier. Um, what else do I have? New workspace. Um, you know, a couple of small subforms. The new map form, the new workspace. Still, you know, right now I'm just trying to get everything working. Gonna have to do a ton of uh, cleanup later on. That's never fun. So, anyway, that's probably good enough for this update. I uh, appreciate all the comments and you know try to help out as much as I can with your questions when I get them sorry I don't have a lot of time to answer everybody and you know I do what I can so anyway wish you all well um, feel free to go out to my website and grab uh, you know uh, the rise project it, it, if anybody wants it uh, you know I'm happy to um, I am whoops I did not mean to do that. Now let's see. Where am I? There we are. Okay. So you can get the project out here on my website right here. Just download that. Uh, if anybody wants it, uh, I can make um, the Rise Edit project available to you as well if you just want to look at the source code for that or you have questions or just are curious want to tinker around with it yourself um, you know it's all open source so if you guys want that feel free to ask I will talk to you all later bye bye